Here we go, people. It's Ask Group Anything on PTRL. The best way to start your weekend. Here we go. Yeah, man. You know what time it is, people. It is time for Ask Rupee Anything. Now, usually I go live on Facebook for this bit, but for some reason I can't tonight, and I don't know why. First show of 2018, I can't go live on Facebook. I don't know why, but I am doing the show live right now in the Radio Summer Studio, so I'm going to give it to you anyway, and then I'll post this video up later on. So I've got three questions for the first edition of Ask Rupee Anything on 2018's first show. So let's go to it. Kicking it off with the primetime player that is Simon. And he's asked me about Sanchez. When's he going to arrive at Man United? So football rated question. Sorry for those that don't like their sports. I don't know. Hopefully it should have been done like by like now with Mkhitaryan going the other way. But we don't know what's going on. So uh, hopefully he's there soon. You know, I'm, I'm a, actually, I'm a bit, a bit sad about Mkhitaryan leaving because when he's in his pump, the guy's a good player. He showed it last year, especially in the Europa League. But with Sanchez, if you had to swap, you would do that swap. And Man United finally, after a, a long period of absence, we've got a number seven. Brilliant. I thought they would vacate it, you know, and, and just leave it for me, Ruby Rockies, but they didn't. Simon, Sanchez is there. Oh, well. Next up, we have a question from Rich. Richard Cooper, my tag team partner. And he said, uh, the Clangers, they're coming to Wolves in Feb. And he asked me if I could choose any kind of like, you know, uh, childhood heroes to come to Sandwell, who would I choose and why? Um, like the Clangers, I, I'll probably say the cast of Rainbow. Yeah, man. Can you imagine those? If they were back, Zippy and, and everybody... In Samuel, like in the, in the new square in West Bromwich. A lot of the young ones won't know what the hell's going on, but I love it. I'll be there singing with the rainbow theme tune. You know what I'm talking about, people. You know. Right, final question. Third and final question. And it's got to go to the Jigger Man. Jerome from Rose Bruford, man. My, my Rose Bruford buddy. I love it. And he asked me a great, very intellectual question. Now, he said to me that Yorkshire, I don't know how they've done this. They've got an international football team. And he asked me to look it up, so it must be true. Yorkshire, I've got an international football team. Anyway, now he's asked me, because of this uh, and as a consequence, is, um, is there becoming more segregation in the UK? You know, uh, people are proud to be where they're from. And, you know, you've got like, you know, for example, those from the black country, proud to be from the black country. And he, he loves that. But he said, are people, are people still proud to be British? You know, it's, it's a great question, isn't it? You know what? I don't think we're as patriotic as other countries. And when people are, suddenly there's accusations of, you know, being bad, being uh, racist. You know, let's put it out there. Um, but there are some people who, you know, I still got it in them. There's a lot of things that we do as British people that are brilliant. I mean, just look at the way we, you know, we're very multicultural. I don't think there's any other society out there that's, that's accepting and as tolerant as, as, as what we are as, as British people. Yeah, it's not completely gone. Trust me, there's a lot of racism still out there. There's a lot of discrimination still out there. Um, you only have to ask, you know, people with kind of physical disabilities and how they get discriminated or those from the LGBT, you know, Q community. Um, so uh, I don't think it's as good as what it should be. I think there's a lot that we need to be proud of as British people. But, um, but I, st I think it's there, just maybe in a, in, a, in a shorter quantity compared to other countries. That's my answer to it. So, Richard, I didn't say I don't know, as I normally do to certain questions. Okay, three questions done and dusted this week on Ask Rupee Anything. I apologize I wasn't able to, to broadcast this live on Facebook. I don't know why. It, it, it is what it is sometimes on a live show. But hopefully you're watching this video and uh, you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Post me another question, I'll answer it. I'll answer it on Facebook. So, three questions done and dusted. If you've got another question, post it now or save it for next week. Use the hashtag AskGroupAnything. It is PTRL. It's the best way to start your weekend. It's my show on Radio Samuel. Prime time with Rupee Lau. Each and every Friday night, 6 to 8, and catch the Rupee replay every Saturday morning, 10 to midday.